Hello, and welcome to Northwoods Renaissance. Today, we're going to bravely sacrifice the backyard for something that's a, called a seed eye marker. Now, you may uh, not recognize this guy directly, but if you've seen the 80's classic Top Gun, the scene where Maverick and Goose bail out, uh, they're picked up out of the water and they're surrounded by green dye, and this is the uh, very same stuff. So we're going to go in the backyard, crack this open, and uh, run some experiments, because uh, Cheetos and NBC are not enough to keep us entertained, and uh, we need something more. Let's go accomplish that. As you can see, we've retreated out here to the botanical gardens. And uh, we've got our seed eye marker, one glass of water, a piece of cheesecloth, two pieces of duct tape ripped off for length, the scissors, base cheesecloth, roll of duct tape, container, and dark clothes that will not likely stain, and some protective gloves. Because as I've alluded to earlier, this is a difficult cleanup. So, let's tear this thing open, shall we? Grab it by the opposing tabs, and give her a rip. Now, what's in there is on a uh, tether. And, uh, man, oh man, this one is rock hard. So, I'm gonna gouge that just a little bit. And we'll see if we can a little bit out of there. We might have to uh, mess with it off camera, but just so you know what we're up against, we've got just a tiniest little fragment of it here, and let's drop it in the water, shall we? And uh, as you can see, it's still coming off the bottom there and it's getting increasingly green as time goes on. So this stuff's pretty much rock solid. If you check the date on it, is this one dated? 1989. So as far as uh, a sea dye marker goes, I hear that's a good year. Right, Alyssa? Uh, chop this thing open. Let's see if we can't get the majority of it into this container. Gosh. Without causing too much trouble. Now, before anyone asks, it is non toxic. It's used for plumber's dye to see where leaks are and that sort of thing to dye the Chicago River green during St. Patrick's Day. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> All right. As you can see, I've put just a tiny amount of this on to the pavement. It's uh, all spread out real thin. And there's the roll of duct tape for, for a sense of scale. And stand by for just a moment and watch what happens when we turn the garden hose on it. Water in the hole. <laughs> All right, that's good. <laughs> so, you're thinking to yourself, that's pretty cool, pretty dramatic, very green, but uh, is there a practical application for that? And, uh, practical? Perhaps not, but at any given point, April Fool's Day is only 364 days away. So, forearmed is uh, forewarned. Let's see what we can do. To, uh, maybe you've got a friend or family member who's into eating apples and washing them first. We've we'll removed the stem from this bad boy. This is about a pea size amount of this stuff. Just uh, jam it down in there. Uh, it's fairly discreet and you're not going to see it. Once it dries, you can wipe it down a little bit. So what happens once you go to rinse the apple? Yeah, get this out of the way before things go real bad real fast. All right, here goes. Imagine this in the sink. Unexpected. <laughs> what do you think, Alyssa? <laughs> 
So uh, that'd be a bit of a shocker. All right, I like it. And you can do that with, oh, I don't know, car tire, car tires with open rims so when they drive in the rain they're leaving a the snail trail behind them. That'd be fun. Uh, aluminum oars that are adjustable. We can uh, put some of this stuff in there so when they dip it in the water that uh, leaves a trail of green behind them. Pretty dramatic. And, uh, if you're, part, well, if you're uh, fairly creative, I'm sure you can come up with some more stuff. So we've seen what it can do to an apple. But uh, what if you have uh, some more mobile mischief in mind and you don't necessarily, you want to be careful with this stuff, I'd say transport in a plastic bag. So as we mentioned earlier, cheese cloth, duct tape, substance, and a glass of water. And we make this a little more mobile package. If you ho hose it down, like if I were to drop this chunk in the whole water, it would all dissolve fairly quickly. But if we put it in cheese cloth. Nice and tight. And then put some duct tape over there so only the ends are exposed. We're going to have a much slower and controlled release. So I don't know what you want to do with that, but you know, make sure it's legal. And here we go. Something else. All right. Well, that's gonna go into the backyard, and we're gonna have we're gonna have a real adventure with that. Get this for posterity. Sure. Before the homeowners association gets wind of what's going on back here and that gives me a cease and desist i've uh, bravely coated the entire backyard with uh, only half a pack of this stuff let's see what happens when we turn the garden hose on it So it's been a day, and uh, we're back here in the botanical gardens again. And uh, as you can see, there's no green except for a little spot where I spilled. But uh, this stuff isn't going away anytime soon. And uh, as I'm rinsing this glass out, allow me to demonstrate that. Okay. You're fine. So as you can see, we're going to be enjoying this for uh, days, weeks, probably months to come. 